Hello everyone, it's Dawn. Welcome back. I hope you've had a wonderful weekend and ready for another week ahead. And we're going to be continue with our series from Papercraft Society Box 36. And this time I'm going to make a shaker card, but with a bit of a difference. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to slide the box out of the way or to one side. Now I found this wrap. This is actually Christmas wrapping paper from last year and it complements the snowflake theme beautifully. Now the box, which I've just popped over there, I've used so many papers from the box already. I haven't actually got many left. I know you can download them some more, but I'm not very good at downloading. And so I've decided to just use this set here to complement what I've already got. And I absolutely love this. It, as I say, it's already, it's wrapping paper, but it's far too good to wrap because it would end up in the bin. So although if it was wrapped on one of my presents, it would end up in my stash, but there we go. So we're going to use that. And I've used something else from my stash. Well, sort of from my stash. I'll show you what I mean. I wanted a pale blue card. Now, if I show you, I'll, I'll explain about that bit there in a minute. Now, this was actually a Christmas card from last year from my sister and my brother-in-law. But I intended to use the actual image on it. But when I turned it over, I realised that this lovely colour complements the colour theme to my card beautifully. So we're going to use that. And I'm going to use, this is actually the back, the inside. It was the inside of the card. But we're going to use that for our card front. And I did say that we're going to make a shaker card. And indeed we are. So, and then once we've sorted that bit out, I'll show you, I'll explain about this little bit here. Obviously I've used my stamps. So, on the back, I've already put some foam tape, which I'm going to take up the backing tape off, or backing paper off. Sometimes it comes off in one go, sometimes it doesn't. But so far it's behaving itself, so we'll see. This right bit, this might be the only bit that's an awkward bit because it's tucked underneath another part. So if we just lift that up a bit, hopefully it'll come off relatively quick. Oh, there we go. That was a bit of that, wasn't it? So we'll just pop that back down there. If I put my finger in the middle where there's no sticky, and I'll just get rid of the debris, otherwise it might end up as part of the card. And we don't want that. Now, what I've done, what I mean by shake a card with a difference is it's based on, I just, I got my book out to show you. It's based on this card here, which has got some of the, the shaker snowflakes as part of the shaker element. And I was going to do it similar where we inlay it, but I decided once you've inlaid it, when I, I tried that out myself, but I thought you're not really going to see much of the shaker element. So I've got the aperture, but we haven't got the inlay. So I've decided not to do that. But I've done it in a similar design and you'll see as we go along how I've done it. So I'm going to pop that to one side. But how I've done the shaker elements is I've popped them into one of these little plastic bags. It's one of these Ziploc bags. And all I've done is I've put them in. Now, if I try to do this on video, it worked smoothly when I did it during my preparation. But I can assure you, if I tried to do that on video, there would have been sequins everywhere. So I've put them in the, one of these little Ziploc bags and I've just cut a little bit of the top off. And you'll see why in just a second. So what I'm going to do, as we've already taken that off, I'm going to lay that down. And what we're going to do, just make sure you can see, it's not too bright today outside, but I'm not so far anyway. So I'm going to lay it as in the middle of, of this tape as I can, because we need a little bit of the tape showing. But if it doesn't go quite right the first time, it doesn't matter too much. So I'm going to press that down like that. And then what I want to do, I want to try and encourage the snowflakes, or some of them anyway, to come into the middle a bit because what I want to do, for well, most of them, it doesn't matter if some of them get trapped because I have, I have put quite a lot in there. So I'm just going to shuffle some of them in and up a bit. So I'm just flicking them with my finger. That'll do, we don't have to be too precious about it because what we're going to do now, if I can find some double-sided tape, I have some somewhere, there we go. Not quite sure what that was that fell on the floor. Nothing important, I hope. Time will tell. So this is a new one, so I'll never find the thing first time. Oh, there we go. We're in business. So obviously we need a way of attaching it. Oh, that's a bit too long. Never mind. We need a way of attaching it to our card. So I'm just going to put some double-sided tape onto this foam tape. Now, you could have done it the other way around, or we could have done it the other way around, but that's all right. But because these are sealed, these snowflakes are sealed, the confetti part is sealed, you don't have to worry about the joins, the or the outside 
adhesive sticking or joining. Well, you have to worry about it sticking, but you don't have to worry too much about it joining up. You don't have to worry about gaps because it's already sealed anyway in the bag. So there we go. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the top up here. It should be all right, actually, but that should be OK. It's coming off really nicely. I'm pleased about that because usually whenever I try and do this on camera, I can never get the backing tape off. But so far it's behaving. The last bit might prove me wrong, but no, we're OK. We're doing good. Wonderful. So what I'm going to do now is just flatten them out a bit like that. Just shake them up a bit. Give it a tap. I might have put a bit too, too many in. I got a bit carried away doing this, but it doesn't matter. So I'm going to tuck that in like that. And I'm going to lay that down in the centre of my card like that. Now that's what I meant when I said if I put an inlay in. I did have an inlay, but I, I decided to get rid of it. Otherwise I'd have shown you. But I think it, you can see more of the shaker elements if you leave the aperture like that. And if you pick it up, it'll still shake really nicely. So you can do that and you can still see them in there. I like that. I rather like that effect. So we're going to leave it like that. Well, that bit anyway. Now, I'm going to show you what I meant by this. I did use the, I did use the Merry and the Christmas stamp, but when I stamped it, I wanted to do blue on blue. It wasn't the same tone of blue. It was darker, but it seemed I didn't realize this this particular card is rather porous it didn't look it at, at the time but it, it was so as it dried it sunk in a bit and I thought don't like that so what I did I stamped it again but I stamped it onto a white card this is just ordinary white card stock and again I've got foam tape on the back and so when I do that I'm going to pop it up on foam tape so I've already stamped it because I wanted it to dry and I did the same with the Christmas. I haven't stamped anything there, but I thought, well, obviously we want it to be matching. So, whoops. I just, this is ordinary. This is ordinary white card. And I use, I'll show you what I've used in a minute. Now, if I stick that down there, I used this die this little die here, and I've used the snowflake die, but again, I've used the snowflake die in a slightly different way. What I've done, I cut this bit first, if I take it off, I've, I cut that with white once, and then I took the snowflake die, and I'm just going to pop that up there. I cut it twice, but I cut it in red. And what I've done is I've offset them. I needed, it, I needed to put glue on this and I needed it to dry, so I, I've I'm afraid I have done this ahead of time. If I just thought about it, I'd have done another one, cut another one and shown you how to make it. But all you do is you cut two, you offset them, you offset them which means you put a, a flake between two flakes so that they're not slightly on top of, they're not on top of each other, but they're offset. And then I just use a little bit of yellow bling in the middle. And all I've done on the back, I've cut down a little foam pad to size. I'm going to take the backing tape off and I'm going to pop that down there. So I'm going to line it, it won't line up exactly, but that doesn't really matter. But it'll line up like that. And that's just to give it a little pop of colour. So if I pop that out the way like that, and get all the debris out of the way, there we go. There is our snowflake shaker card. I think that's what we're going to call it anyway. So if I bring that in and give you a better look, a stronger look or a closer look, I'm just going to pop that in a bit closer for you. And the shaker elements still move quite nicely when you move it. So even if they don't, they still look quite nice, but they will move because you've got that foam tape popping it up a bit. It will move quite nicely. So there we go. There is our snowflake shaker card. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. And I will be back on Wednesday with another project for you. And I can't remember offhand what I'm going to be doing. And I haven't got my list with me, so I'm afraid I can't tell you. But come back on Wednesday and you'll find out what I'm going to be doing. And I'll see you then. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you've enjoyed the, the tips and tricks that I've shown you with this one. And different ways of using the wonderful dies and embellishments that we've got from this wonderful set. And I'll see you Wednesday. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Have fun. And as always, happy crafting. Bye bye for now.